Huge thanks to E3D for making this trip to the 2016 TCT show in Birmingham possible. All right, so I'm at the Alif Objects Load Spot booth here with Ben. So, how are you, Ben? I'm doing great. We're really excited to be here in the UK. This is our uh, this is actually our first international event that that we've done as a company. So, Load Spot has always been sort of a, a special company to me. Why do you stand out, or how how do you define yourself? Um, well, I mean. Most people know us as the most, arguably most open source uh, company in 3D printing. Uh, we share everything from our design files to you know the free software that we use to run our printers. Um, we also use entirely free software to run our company, um, and that's a core philosophy for Lulz, well for LF Objects. It shows in our printers in that you know our hardware has been refined uh, year after year with input from the community. Uh, we listen to you know what our community wants. Uh, we get important feedback from them and innovations from them. Like our our PEI print surface is something that um, you know we didn't come up with that on our own. That was a suggestion from our community, um, and people love it. You know, it's it's something that makes our printers work better, um, and so we owe that to our community. And in turn, we give back by sharing everything we do. So why are you so religious about you know? being open source and using open source software for everything you do? First and foremost, um, our company was started uh, with free software, Libre innovation, and open source hardware at its core, as a core philosophy. So that you know that is what makes LF Objects LF Objects. Lulzbot is a brand of LF Objects, but that doesn't mean that we couldn't branch off into you know, other products that are unrelated to 3D printers, focused on the same, the same philosophy. And so, 3D printing is particularly is particularly suited to that philosophy because there's already such a great community in the desktop industry that grew out of the RepRap project. So, 3D printing is a starting point um, for open source hardware and free software, and but not necessarily you know the be all end all because we see the same philosophy working in other technologies as we grow. So, wh where do you think 3D printing as a as a general Thing is heading today. Do you, do you see like it's splitting up into like these those proprietary professional machines and the the consumer personal machines, or what's what's your vision there? Well, we're we're definitely seeing the the entire industry refocus on education and professional use as you know like the target market. Um, we've heard in the media over and over again that the consumer three D printing thing was was hype and. But it was hype because the media made it hype in the first place. I don't think uh, the responsible companies out there were out saying there should be a 3D printer in everybody's home um, yet. You know that doesn't mean it won't get there someday. Um, in the near term, we're going to keep doing what we're doing, which is focusing on building high-quality, reliable, versatile machines um, that work with free software and our open-source hardware, so that uh, essentially. You know, anybody can use our machines and, and get the most out of it from like a new user who's never used a 3D printer before to a researcher at NASA that wants to print um, high temperature aerospace materials that require them basically rebuilding the entire machine. They have access to all the plans, they can do that. Um, if, if we didn't share all that information, then they couldn't. So the industry is going to you know is going to is very nebulous and it's going to stay that way and it's going to keep growing into more and more sectors you know of our lives um, i have an 8 year old son and 3d printing to him is just completely normal at this point and so who knows how his brain is going to work when he's my age right so um, i think it's it's tough to say exactly where it's going um, materials are also uh, you know, exploding in variety and uh, and just versatility at this point. I mean, we're seeing new flexible materials all the time, uh, materials with uh, that are that are cleaner, that you know in, don't smell as much, don't don't emit as much particulate. So, uh, so long as that stuff continues, I mean, the sky's the limit. So, lastly, what do you have coming up that you can or, or should talk about at this point? Well, I mean, people who know us know that we share everything, even when it's in development. So if, if you really want to know what we're working on, go to, to, go to uh, devel.lulzbot.com and start picking through our development files. Um, 
but we also, you know, things I can openly talk about right now, we're debuting our, uh, our, our Moore Struder here at, at TCT. Um, we have not um, announced like a release date or anything like that for it yet, uh, but it's a high output tool head. It's got a 1.2 millimeter nozzle and a longer heater block, so you can print uh, about 100 grams an hour, which is awesome. So you can do great big prototypes really, really fast. This thing is heavy, actually. This is, what is this, 1.7 kilograms? Yeah. Put it in there. Yeah. I don't know if that's in the light. This is about a, a six hour print, and this is a full one pound reel of tea glass. Um, and it's also uh, quite pretty. Um, it is. Yeah. And then, so, so there's that. Um, and then we're also, we're hard at work on Cura 2. Ultimaker's new version of Cura is finally at a point where we can start putting our printers in it and, and working with that software. Um, so no, you know, no real announcement there either, aside from the fact that it's in the pipeline. But, you know, like I said before, anything that, if you're curious what we're working on, we don't keep it a secret, so. So Ben, thanks a lot for this uh, heap of information. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But what Lotspot is working on, what's, you know, what, what his philosophies are. And I hope to see lots more of you from the future. Well, thanks. Yeah, we're, like I said, really excited to be here in the UK. Um, you know, we have a distribution center in London. So um, we felt it was appropriate finally to, you know, to be here um, and meet some of the people we've been, you know, some of the customers we have over here and keep developing uh, the UK and European markets. All right. Thank you.